Sup guys, Asian Psycho here, and I'm bringing you guys the 20th chapter for the Exploring the Arsenal series with me, Asian Psycho, aka Toast Sniper 98. And um, just a little heads up about the gameplay itself and the video itself. Uh, it is a rather long video, so strap in tight, grab some popcorn or something like that, and um, enjoy the video. And it is going to be comprised of two videos, one the first game here on Oil Rig, and the second game on Kill Creek. Now, two of my clanmates, Sharky and... Um, Chase, I just I'll just call him Chase, because uh, that's what that's what his IGN uh, Combat Arms IGN starts with, and um, those two guys are the two guys who um, really like to give me um, or lend me their accounts for that so that I can access some of their guns like NX rares that I don't have and I need to borrow for um, for the sake of reviewing, and um, they're here in this game with me uh, in both of these games actually, and um, if you guys can hear them in the background over my own commentary, then I guess that's okay because uh, they are trying to troll me as hard as they can here and um, I believe they'll show up in the uh, Azazel review as well because I'm recording this uh, audio commentary before the Azazel which is which I'm going to do uh, which I'm going to consider as an ETA extra so yeah they'll also show up in that uh, gameplay as well so basically they're just here in this game with me and they're just playing with me and because they just want to be in the video so I guess shout outs to them um, thank you guys thank you to both of you for um, letting me on your accounts to uh, for these certain guns that I can't access because they're NX rares and stuff like that so thank you to both of you um, and as always, <laughs> since we're clanmates, um, TTM for bro for life. Anyways, guys, this is the FAMAS review on the uh, GP standard variant of the FAMAS family. The FAMAS. So, <laughs> kind of redundant there, but I mean, what can you do? So, the FAMAS is unlocked at Private First Class, which is the little chevron with the under with the uh, with the single underbar on it. And um, at Private First Class, you get to unlock the FAMAS, and um, it costs 800 GP a day, so which is pretty normal for a normal assault rifle. And um, I think actually the audio is screwed up for um, this oil rig game actually now that I think about it. So I apologize if, uh, if you guys notice that the audio is kind of lagging behind the actual gameplay. Um, in the beginning you guys saw a little lag spike. I think that's what caused it. So unfortunately um, because it did take me some time to get this gameplay and because I don't really have um, enough time to go back and um, redo the gameplay over again. Um, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with the kind of uh, the delayed audio stuff like that. So I apologize for that. Hopefully, it won't happen again. So the damage on the FAMAS is on the lower side. In fact, it's one of the weakest assault rifles in terms of sheer damage um, in the Combat Arms arsenal for assault rifles. At 36 damage, that's pretty much only as strong as the NX submachine guns that they've been Nexon has been releasing as of late, like the FMG9, the uh, FMI SCF, and the T2, all of which do 36 damage. So in in perspective, you can you can adequately say that the FAMAS only deals enough damage, um, like the same amount of damage as a submachine gun would do, so that's that's a pretty safe assumption there. Um, so once again, damage is on the lower tier of things, and because it has low damage to begin with, um, it's got a pretty bad damage drop off. Uh, in this gameplay, you'll see me struggle to get these uh, long range shots off uh, across this corridor on oil rig here, and um, yeah. And a perfect example right there just happened where a, a guy with a P90 easily outclasses me at close quarters combat. Um, so be, do be careful with the FAMAS because it does have pretty low damage. Um, so yeah, be, do be careful about that. Portability wise, it's it's considered to be a little bit fast. Um, it does have 60 portability, so compared to like a gun like the G36E, um, which has 57 portability and like the AK series which only have like 55 um, It is much faster than those kinds of guns, but still it's an assault rifle So you it's still run it's still able to be run uh, run around with pretty easily It's just that a submachine gun is obviously much better for uh, running around with Rate of fire is on it's actually on the high side of things at 74 so in perspective the Rex 7 which is uh, one of the faster firing weapons um, uh, or Assault rifles that is in combat arms even though it is an NX standard uh, NX standard weapon um, It is still pretty fast uh, for on the FAMAS that is at 74 it, it does definitely de uh, put out lots of bullets at once Accuracy wise it's at a 84 so it's a little bit less than accurate compared to like other assault rifles um, You are able to pick off uh, shots at long distance, but in the next game on Kill Creek you'll see a couple times where I tried to um, Kind of tap fire people across the bridge on Kill Creek uh, on the first level 
or on the top hillsides that is and um, it doesn't work out too well so accuracy wise the FAMAS is not the very best but definitely you'll still be able to um, easily pick people off at distances it's just that you shouldn't go around at really long distances because bullets at that by that point won't be able to register Accuracy, uh, actually, actually, I talk about the accuracy. Recoil wise, recoil wise, it set, the statistic is at a 68, which in perspective, that's the same as like the, uh, that's only two less than the AK 47. So I think that Nexon did something wrong with the recoil statistic on this because the recoil isn't really heavy at all. Well, Actually, let's let's talk about that a little bit further. The recoil spread can get out of hand and can get very large, but it's nowhere near like AK spread. So I don't really understand why Nexon gave it only two points less recoil compared to like the AK-47. And um, in terms of recoil uh, kickback, the FAMAS is a very low uh, low recoil weapon in terms of kickback. Um, you you can definitely run around, run and gun, and hip fire with this weapon, and never feel like your gun is like moving around in your hands too much. And it, just because of the recoil itself, won't it won't make your shots miss. So a little bit of good good news there. And finally, for recoil controllability, it is very easy to control the recoil. The reason being is that the FAMAS, is, the FAMAS family, the entire FAMAS family, is one of the few assault rifle classes or the fa assault rifle families that have the that have the unique characteristic of having an extremely fast center speed. And I'll go into depth about um, the center speed uh, when I actually talk about the center speed. So, in other words, the recoil controllability is very good. Or it's very easy to control. Moving on to the tap fire ability, it is very tap fireable, is that, if that's even a word. But do keep in mind that if you do tap fire way too fast, your um, your scope, if you well that is assuming you do have a scope, um, your scope will go out of hand if you tap fire too fast. But you can still definitely tap fire with it uh, for like really fast and still get away with like shots that go straight up and down through uh, while aiming down sights. So. In that respect, it is yes, it does have very good tap fire ability. Sprint drawback. It is actually pretty fast on the sprint drawback because um, its draw and its sprint animation is pretty simple, and the way the animation that uh, to that your character uses to bring up the gun after you've done you're done sprinting is very is very quick. So sprint drawback very good. Draw speed. Draw speed is pretty average. Nothing too uh, special there. Um, it's pretty average for an assault rifle, so um, like I said, nothing too unique. Uh, center speed. This now this is where one of the uh, the FAMAS, one of the FAMAS's main advantages lies. Its center speed is one of the fa is the fastest, and I think the FS2000 series is the only other assault rifle uh, family that has the same kind of center speed. That is there. That is the FAMAS. Uh, that is the FAMAS's and the F2000s FS2000 family's um, main one that's one of the main advantages in that their center speeds are insanely fast. If you buy this weapon or the FS2000, I'll cover the. Uh, I'll talk about this again in the FS2000 uh, chapter as well. But if you take, if you buy a FAMAS right now and go into a game and you just move around with it, jump around, it's um, time to. It's uh, the time that it takes for the recoil spread to increase is actually longer than it is, than it is for the spread to decrease. So that's very good in terms of um, like dealing with enemies that come in waves like say for example you that you've just finished killing one enemy that you're that you've seen then if you see another enemy uh nearby and you haven't reloaded yet then it means that you can fire you can fire right away again and most likely the next time you shoot at another enemy um your shots will be just as accurate as if you had um, been firing at your first enemy so in that in turn in that respect the center speed is very handy and um definitely uh that is one of the main uh, that was that is one of the famas's main um, advantages very fast center speed um, almost in fact it's so fast that it's nearly instantaneous so keep, uh, please keep that in mind reload speed is on the slower side of things um, so it's not very good in that department though do keep in mind that in these videos I am using extended mag 1 but even with an extend mag 1 um, for example, like the a M4A1, um, the M4A1's reload speed, even with an Extended Mag 1 on it, is pretty similar to its uh, to the original uh, reload speed, or at least it feels like that for me. Um, but for the for the FMOS, it the the um, 
the reload speed really decrease dramatically decreases as soon as you put a XM mag one on it. So uh, in that respect, do be careful about um, your ammo count. Uh, always reload when you whenever you have the chance, um, so you don't have to run out of bullets and have to sit through a really painful reload at the worst possible times. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, fire modes is only available in one fire mode, which is fully automatic. Luck, the FAMAS is interestingly enough has a very high kind of luckiness to it. It's just a personal thing. Also, um, Sharky, one of my clanmates who's playing with me in both of these video gameplays, um, was also using the FAMAS in uh, the Azazel review. And in the Azazel gameplay, you'll see him like headshot me like four times in a row. Um, and he also agrees that the FAMAS has a his very is it can be very capable of getting you got getting you very lucky lottos. So I'm going to say that the FAMAS has very very uh, high luckiness to it. Um, before, um, ah, damn it, Sharky's calling me speaking the devil uh, through Skype. Anyways, um, so the the uh, what was I talking about? The luckiness on the FAMAS. I'm gonna have to say it's really lucky because. Before I uh, before like two years ago, um, I used to use the FAMAS a lot. It used to be one of my uh, favorite weapons, in fact. And then um, back then, it wasn't that it wasn't so lucky. Um, I don't know what Nexon did to it because if now using the FAMAS, it feels a lot weaker than it did before. Also, I didn't get as many headshots as I did back then. Now, for some reason, it seems like they've Nexon's decreased the uh, damage rating on the FAMAS, or it just feels like it's really weak now compared to how I use how I used to be able to use it before. But for some reason, I'm able to pick off a lot of more a lotos than I was able to before. Well, these lot these headshots, I actually aim for them, so <laughs> nothing to uh, nothing to brag, brag about there. And uh, um, let's see here. Ammo capacity is standard at 30 rounds in magazine and 90 in reserve, so nothing too special there. Uh, key physical characteristics. Um, if you guys have ever played any other FPS, because the FAMAS is pretty popular amongst um, first-person shooter games, so like, like not to mention like Modern Warfare 2. Um, I believe Soldier Front has the FAMAS variant, and other other games. I'm pretty sure other uh, lots of FPSs do have the FAMAS featured in them. So if you guys don't know what the FAMAS is, it's basically a bullpup rifle, which means that the uh, the magazine charge is behind the trigger mechanism and it's got a it's got a pretty flat um top rail so yeah in the, in terms in terms of key physical characteristics uh, hopefully you guys will be able to imagine what it looks like muzzle noise the muzzle noise is a very kind of i think it's pretty unique i don't know if any other gun uh, assault, uh like any other weapon in the combat arms shares the famas's um the same um muzzle noise aside from obviously the famas se variant um but what it sounds like is like a very high pitch uh popping sound. It sounds like how should I describe this? It sounds like popcorn popping inside a microwave. I don't know how else to describe it. But that honestly to me that honestly that's what it sounds like. So <laughs> hopefully you guys will be able to uh imagine that if you guys aren't able to listen to the uh, gameplay audio of what it sounds like. But anyways, it's like a very high pitch um popping noise and um because it is high frequency, it is very loud. So um people will be able to hear and know what your gun is. So because the FAMAS is a pretty weak gun and pe most people most veterans of combat arms do know that the FAMAS is a kind of weaker assault rifle, so if they hear you using that, using the FAMAS, um, basically the FAMAS, then they will probably most likely go after you because they know that most people aren't very good with the FAMAS because of its low damage. Moving on to the attachment options, you are able to attach any kind of uh, modification on this, silencers, sights, uh, magazine modifications, though I would recommend that you do not attach a silencer because like I said, like um, most people know, silencers do reduce your damage by 10% and it does screw up your recoil pattern a little bit and um, you don't want to be using a silencer for on the FAMAS because it already is so weak anyway, you, uh, you shouldn't... Um, risk um just turning your four to five shot kill at range down to like five and six that's just brutal and um i do recommend an acog site on this because uh to utilize uh to fully utilize that uh 984 actually because it is a very good tap fireable gun and i don't think that the itech will do you enough justice at range if you guys prefer the itech then that's i guess that's just how you roll i prefer acog over itech most of the time so i mean that's your choice 
fire team worthy. I would not say it's fire team worthy because of its very, very low damage. Um, it's going to be very hard for you to take down um, zombies adequately enough. And um, because even though it does have a pretty fast fire rate uh, at 74, you the FAMAS, because of its low damage, just doesn't have the, uh, the DPS that you want uh, to take down zombies fast enough. Maybe humans in, in like normal games, but not definitely not zombies. Quarantine worthy. I also wouldn't say that this uh, gun is quarantine worthy. Although it has a very fast fire rate at 74, it... Uh, well, I guess you could say it's fire team worthy because it does, like I said, the faster fire rate, the better. But all that, but at the same time, um, the portability you shouldn't really bring assault rifles un unless you really, uh, unless it's got a, uh, like a very superb ammo count, or you just really like bringing uh, that particular assault rifle into uh, quarantine. So I don't recommend using uh, using the Famas in quarantine either. Frank personal opinions. Like I said before, the FAMAS used to be uh, one of my favorite assault rifles, uh, statistically and uh, performance-wise. But because I haven't used it enough uh, for the past like year or so, I've, mo I've mostly lost my touch with it. Um, it used to be a very good rifle, and trust me, it still is. It's just far outclassed by other much better assault rifles. I mean, even the M4A1 is better than this thing because uh, because. First of all, it's got two uh, two higher damage, which makes the makes, which makes like the entire difference in the world. Uh, I think the rate of fire is pretty much the same on the M forty one as it is on the Famas. Um, the the accuracy, I think the accuracy is also be better than it is on the Famas. I don't know, I don't, I can't be too sure. I'm pretty sure the recoil is also lower than it is on the Famas. Just statistically speaking and performance wise, it's just it just dominate the M forty one just dominates the Famas, and that's just one example of how the Famas is just badly underclassed and badly overpowered uh, or outclassed by much better other uh, assault rifles so i mean it is a good gun and it is definitely worth uh, checking out and do keep in mind that it is very lucky you can definitely count on uh, your luckiness to hit you some lot uh, some lucky lottos uh, at the right times but I mean, do you want to base, like I keep saying, do you want to base your skill on luck? Like, really? Unless you want to be a complete troll about it, then I guess you can, that's just how you roll. But, me personally, I don't want to base my skill on luck alone. So, eh, the FAMAS, for you new users who uh, want to know what the FAMAS is like, because you never really give it a shot at it, and you don't want to risk your GP on it because you're low on GP, or you just don't want to try it out because you're like, um xenophobic or something like that i don't know if that's a proper term but um the famas i won't recommend uh, this gun to you because it's ju it just deals too low damage and although the recoil is low enough so that i can classify this adequately as a very new friendly gun um the damage it's just it just doesn't deal enough damage in, uh, in my honest opinion and um it would be nice it would be very nice if the famas got some sort of uh damage buff to it um but though it is largely um addressed in its other variants but i mean Two of them are obviously NX, and the last one is like what uh, either uh, attainable through like the Miss G that you need to pay like four thousand GP for, or is available through um, unless you have like a really extremely high rank like Lieutenant Colonel or something like that. Then I don't recommend uh, getting the Famas. Well, anyways, guys, that's the review on the Famas. Once again, the final rating will be down in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this 20-minute special on the FAMAS, the 20th chapter. And hopefully, we'll be able to see you guys in the next chapter uh, featuring the FAMAS SE, the GP Rare variant of the FAMAS. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully, the in-game audio of Sharky and Curtis, uh, or Chase, uh, that's his comment arms IGN, screaming in the background. Hopefully, won't take you guys off too much. And, um, yeah, have a nice day, guys. And we'll look for, we'll, I'll see you guys in the FAMAS SE video. Good game, good game.